This is the second phase of uh, installing or uh, reassembling the uh, water pump or the coolant pump, putting back together the uh, the belt, the uh, generator or alternator belt, water pump belts, the same belt. As you can see, these two belts are generator, water pump and um, there is a tensioner right here that you have to readjust and you have to look into the manual um, I will have to readjust this pulley is a different, to totally different job that is not related to my water pump but I'm trying to show you what I'm doing here um, I did a bit of cleaning on the crankcase um, my mechanic or one of the mechanics said the uh, crankcase gasket is leaking so I had to do this uh, bit of cleanup in order to troubleshoot it and I have to watch it if it's leaking later then uh, I'm going to replace the gasket uh, um, I might give this job to a mechanic or I might do it by myself I'll see and um, again this is a water pump uh, it's made in Italy it's brand new the old water pump as you can see the impeller is half corroded and um, it suggests that the car was sitting in Japan somewhere in a dealership parking lot for a couple of years uh, so the coolant does not last forever if you don't replace the coolant the uh, anti-oxidation agents uh, are uh, losing their power or ability of uh, to prevent oxidation inside the, of the um, engine block so I assume this was sitting right that you can see the uh, coolant level and it has some corrosions uh, corrosion marks around the, the gasket so I thought of replacing it anyway um, since I bought a new one and the new one comes with a gasket in, in the package uh, so I have to put a gasket into that gasket uh, channel and I'm going to use a bit of anti-seize and also I have to watch for the um, for the torque On the, in the manual you have to read the torque values, the torque adjustments and on this diagram it doesn't show the torque uh, it just shows a bolt, but I had to handwrite it according to the one of the first pages where it's, it uh, tells you the torque values, so which is 24 uh, uh, Newton a meter. So you can use a tool like this tool, and you can uh, enter the uh, 24 Newton a meter, and by just or use a calculator and adjust on your pref, um, preference your specific uh, measurement unit one thing I have to mention about this um, this water pump uh, long bolts so these are supposed to be torqued at 24 uh, uh, Newton a meter and I found they had some corrosion why they had corrosion because uh, the previous mechanic or whoever did uh, the repair or maybe nobody did the repair but uh, there was water that got into the um, the bolt holes and that water caused corrosion to the uh, to the bolts even the bolts are, are some sort of a plated I don't know what type of uh, surface they have but I found some uh, some corrosion or maybe dry uh, coolant I don't know I had to use a, uh, a wire brush and remove the uh, the material the the, uh, the salts or whatever material was that one um, of the uh, the treads so uh, it would be uh, it would be wise to use some sort of anti-seize and torque it to, to the right torque amount Another important inf information uh, in the manual it says that you need to drain and rinse the uh, the old coolant. Um, you may want to 
use brand new coolant and I'm going to do that but you have to remove a, uh, a screw I mean a, a bolt in order to drain all the old coolant out and the bolt is located right beside the uh, the oil filter and you see this shape of this, this bolt uh, they are different engine with uh, that bolt uh, water drain plug it's called in the manual uh, has a bit of different shape and is located slightly different around the um, uh, oil coolant area ne next to the oil filter so in this type of engine it's 4M41 engine and is made uh, for Pajero 3 generation 3 um, this bolt has a, a copper washer and you have to torque it at 30 Newton a meter. Uh, Japanese use the meter, uh, I mean the metric system. And um, in the manual, let me see if I have the page. Uh, I don't know what type of manual you have, but if you look at this diagram, you will see uh, bolt number 12 have to be, uh, which is a uh, water drain plug, have to be torqued at 30. So you, you must use a torque wrench. And again, this is a water drain plug. So I use the uh, just a garden hose and I, I put the garden hose to the top, um, to the top radiator hose and I put some pressure inside until the water came out through the pump then I put the hose inside the pump and uh, I, normally you would have to remove the uh, thermostat to feed some, uh, some water through this inlet but um, I know that I was able to reach behind the thermostat with, uh, with the pressure through the water pump so uh, 